only is she, you know, topping the charts, our next guest, but she's also a big star on the G Disney Channel, Bridget Mendler. She's had a bunch of hit songs since she released her album, Hello, My Name Is, with songs like Ready or Not and Hurricane. She's touring the country. She's in our area. In fact, tonight, she's performing at the Paramount on Long Island. Great theater. Bridget Mendler, we're honored to have you here on Good Day New York. How are you? I'm good. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, in the right. house. What? Raise Whoa. the roof? What's that? <laughs> it's never too early she's for getting, that. You know, you have to understand, you're going to Long Island today. I am. And Greg is from Long Island. Greg, oh. maybe you should give her some advice about going to Long Island. Because well, it is different. We don't do bit. this as much as we used to. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sorry, that's the first thing. Well, they were, they were I'll kick off the show with that. It's, pretty, it's actually impressive that you know about that. Bridget, uh, how are you? What do you like to sing about? I like to sing about stories that I feel like are sassy and fun. Um, I don't know. I think that it's always nice to tell a, a love story, maybe with like a, a quirky twist or something. How did you get um, recognized? Because it's so hard now these days. Everybody goes on YouTube and write, puts something up, right? There's so many good people. How, how, how did you get discovered? Um, well, I worked with Disney Channel, so I had been on Disney Channel for a while. I was on a movie called Lemonade Mouth. That's the music Lemonade video right Mouth. there. Um, yeah, and so I guess that was the first time they really like had me singing in a bigger way. And I've written songs all my life, so it just was a great venue to introduce myself musically to Disney. And before music, I mean, you got into entertainment like as a kid, right? Like, how old were you? Um, I mean, I had been acting since I was 13. I was on Disney Channel since I was 15. Mm -hmm. Wow. So. And I am very impressed because not only is she out there touring, but she's also taking college classes, okay? What are you majoring in? Well, you know, not, not plural. There's just one right now. But the fact that you still want to get your diploma. <laughs> Thank you. When you yeah. have a hot career, I think that says something. Thank you. What's the course? Can you tell us? Yes, I'm majoring in anthropology, but my class has nothing to do with that right now. I really, I just take classes for the scheduling of it. So um, it was most convenient to actually take a film class right now. So I get to go to school once a week, watch movies. It's actually, yeah, it's pretty easy. This run of shows, <laughs> I am uh, working on an essay. So that's, you know. How long does it have both. to be? That's the first question. How long does this have to be? Four pages, which at double college. Space? Double space. Okay, that's good. At college, that's like walk in the park. I wrote most of it on the airplane. So, so but you know, the thing is, I, I, I would think going to school and trying to like have a normal life right. has to keep you grounded a little bit because, you know, yeah. touring, you got a lot of people around you who want to please you, right? You yeah. go to school, you're just like everybody else, sort of? Yeah, no, I'm 100% like everybody else. And I think it encourages me to have high standards for what I do with my schoolwork because um, I'm not like in the school world enough to really know what the expectations are, so I just try really hard and everything. And then when I'm like realizing that I try too hard, then I just lay back. You so know? You're, you're majoring in anthropology. Uh, I mean, do you want to be an anthropologist someday? Are you looking at that, or is this is this it for you? Do you want to be an entertainer for the rest of your life? Do you know yet? I would love to be an entertainer for the rest of my life. I think anthropology to me felt interesting because it's the study of humans and like every culture and really just. I like the idea of justifying why people are the way that they are, and so you study people and they might be very different than you, but then you understand them, and I feel like that applies to acting a lot. Cool. So Bridget, tonight's big concert at Paramount Theater. I heard there are a few tickets left, so people, if you're still interested in seeing Bridget, you can go see her. Yeah. What do you do to get psyched up for a concert? And what don't I do? Um, Whoa. No, no, no. <laughs> I remember being weird. backstage and seeing um, people like pray and then they do chants and then they dance and vocalize and stuff like that. That's pretty much it. You know, <laughs> we do a little bit of like a, a pep talk, a prayer. We have a warm up song uh, that goes on before we go on. So we usually do a little bit of like dancing around to that. Um, I think we're all just really comfortable with each other now and we enjoy doing the show and it's uh, nice because we've been doing the show for long enough that now it's just like second nature and you go out there and you get to like make it whatever you want it to be. Great. When's the next acting project? Um, right now I'm working on album number two. Mm -hmm. So I haven't ventured into the A little bit next of a hiatus. Acting. Yeah, yeah. So I just I want to work on the album, make it the best it can be coming out next year. 
So um, maybe you'll come back and perform something for us when that happens. Yes. What do you think? Of course. Are you okay. kidding me? Please. What do you think? Well, like ready or not, show? are you, Bridget? It would be right. nice to have you sing. Bridget Mendler, good luck tonight in Huntington, okay? Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Nice.